Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Yesterday we received Calling All Devs, and a question was asked about how insurance would be counted. When I was doing my usual rundown of the show, I was left with a question that I asked in closing. It was very clear that the universe time wouldn't be compressed. It was clear that one hour in game would exactly represent one hour in real time. It was clear that certain tasking such as fueling, repairing, and cargo operations would be represented in full time. They confirmed that there would be lots of things to distract you while you're waiting for that task to complete, but if you choose to log out, the tasking would continue in real time. If you waited long enough, when you returned to the game, the tasking would have been completed and you'd be free to carry on. All crystal clear to this point. The confusion seems to stem from an honest mistake. I'll never envy the job of any CIG developer in this open development construct. Our global community analyzes and hangs onto every specific word. Once it's been committed to a video or a post, it's considered law by the community and will be used in the future as ammo. As part of a long chain of answers, Rob Reininger, who is the lead technical designer, stated that a player who, for example, went on vacation for two weeks wouldn't be penalized. That could easily be interpreted as, once you log off, things like insurance timers stop. This statement seemed correct and was in keeping with what Chris Roberts said in the past. Earliest reference is linked in the description from four years ago on 10 for the chair. Parts of the answer seemed vague and confusing, so I immediately asked for an answer with the simple yes or no answer. So here in very clear and very simple terms is what was confirmed later in Spectrum. All the supporting links are in the description. Universe time does not stop when you're logged out, and with that, insurance doesn't halt either. If you have three months of insurance as part of your starter game pack, regardless of how frequently you play, it'll count down and eventually lapse. I say again, if you log out for 20 days, you'll return with 20 fewer days of insurance grace period. That sounds pretty bad, but please don't panic. It's actually very unlikely that the in-game cost of insurance will be crippling on an individual basis. When I actually think about it, compared to the cost of a missile, it'll probably be irrelevant. The actual cost hit is very hard to estimate if you're considering larger ships or very large fleets of large ships. So this, yet again, seems to be a shift in direction against what we thought we knew. I'd like to suggest that we wait to see where this goes before freaking out. We're currently deeply entrenched in the middle of an alpha with practically all the mechanics open for adjustment. This announcement is just one of many to come. There are those of you that'll point out that this seems to further invalidate old backing, and this seems to favor new players who have new war bond money with LTI. I'll agree that those people may have a valid point. I'll go one step further and say that this also fully puts LTI on the map as a legitimate advantage especially to those who have backed big and managed a huge fleet. It's a good thing that most of you have been building up your fleets with LTI. Even though I'm constantly making videos about it, I've always stated that LTI isn't important, because that's what we were told. I'm sure people are still going to tell you it's not. I'm going to try to be positive and tell you that there is good news. We still have a couple of years to juggle our fleets around. By using monthly concept sales, yearly anniversary sales, and those custom large game packages, we can basically get LTI on most ships. It seems a little bit dumb to be so many years past Kickstarter and still have to deal with such a convoluted pledge system. There you go, it's now up to you. I'd love your feedback in the comments on what you think about the implications of these new changes. Do you feel this is a big deal or do you think it's not going to matter? Please share it with your friends and orgmates and thanks to CIG for being so proactive yesterday with the clarification in Spectrum. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.